One of my favorite parts of every school year is when new families come to tour. And they come in, the family's pretty broken, they're extremely overwhelmed. There's a lot of anger and tension between the parents and the kids. I, I just didn't know what to do. I felt trapped. Um, I felt like there wasn't any way out of it. Like I just felt completely hopeless. At the peak of my addiction, I was just miserable. But I could like smile and make people laugh and just play it off and um, I just really lived like a complete double life. We saw him as just changing into something that was so scary that it wasn't about trying to not let him smoke cigarettes or, you know, better grades or not get high or it, keep playing football. Like it became, it started out those things and then it became what are we going to do to get the person that we know is in their back? When I was using, you know, drugs and alcohol, my parents and uh, my friends would describe me as, I don't know, super selfish person. I didn't really care. I just used a lot of people. Gratitude is a huge theme here at Archway Academy. So much of what we want to give these young people is not only an education around English and science and social studies and history, but we want to teach them about character. We feel like that's part of our mission as a school of kids in recovery. So things like self-esteem, like gratitude, what it means to be compassionate, what it means to care for someone else, what it means to get out of yourself. And that's why service work is such an integral part of what we do every day like doing the random acts of kindness at Archway during Friday Philip. It's just like handing out flowers to like random people, strangers, like telling them to have a nice day, like telling them they're beautiful and like, like meaning it too. Definitely like meaning it is a huge part. Giving flowers to people and like the free hugs group that we would do, like I love just walking around, especially to the places that like a lot of us go to for lunch, like the the different restaurants like down in the med center, um, like giving workers there like flowers and just like telling them like thank you. Just giving out random hugs is just what we need, I guess. Random love, because nobody does that anymore. So I guess it made me feel grateful and like love to give out hugs to people and see them happy once they get the hug and just makes their day feel a lot better, makes mine feel better. And especially feeding the homeless at Way Station, like it helps me with gratitude for everything that I have and like it just helps me like know that there's other people that need help and I'm not the only one who needs everything. It shows me like other people need help too and I need to help other people. Being an adolescent is pretty challenging because they're in that stage of life that's awkward. There's a lot of trauma. There's so much to overcome. They're learning. They're growing. They're trying to find out who they are. So, you know, having a young person come to Archway Academy, their experience here is so different. You know, our environment is small enough that they feel a part of. They feel like we're an extended family for them. Uh, they feel loved. They feel welcomed. Um, and when they feel those feelings, it's amazing what we can get them to do academically. It's like that one teacher who says, I know that you've given up on yourself already with this assignment, but I'm gonna sit here with you and hold your hand through it. Those are the moments where you can really see kids transition. You can see the light bulb come on where they stop being afraid and they start believing. And then to see them, 60 days later, six months later, one year later, uh, when they come for parent open house, when they come for graduation, when they come for other celebrations, to see the healing that's happened in that family because that young person's been in recovery, because the parents have been doing their part to receive healing as well. You know, we, we have kind of a special relationship, not just because father and son, but because I'm in recovery too. And so he being sober as long as he has and reaching out to people and doing service work, he really helps me a lot because, you know, when I have bad days, I can talk to him and he knows exactly what it feels like. No matter what 
I've done or like no matter how much destruction or like pain I caused, um, like she just stuck by me like no matter what and refused to give up on me. Um, and I just, like I wish I could grow up to be like even like an eighth of like who she is today because then I'd be, I'd be set. Because there's so much difficulty and so much chaos in adolescence, that's why the need for recovery schools is so important. It's really um, terrifying, I would imagine, to be a young person thrown into these huge mega high schools um, where they don't know anyone. They don't feel connected. They don't feel like their relationships are important. There is an intimacy there. I feel safe, you know? I feel safe and um, I just feel good here. I mean, sometimes there's bad days and stuff, but like that's within me. I just remember the first day just thinking like how awesome it was that people who like went to school with each other were like warm towards each other and like loving and welcoming and like how the teachers and like students were like getting along. I was like, this is so strange. Just from meeting the few people here that I, I knew that I was, I had somebody that I could call and that, you know, that I was people that cared, so it was, it was it was a very emotional experience for me. I don't know where, I mean, anywhere else on earth, any other school, where I would feel so safe and so secure that, that my daughter is in not just good hands, but loving, giving hands that genuinely will go to any lengths for her. I, I just, I don't have the words to tell you how grateful I am and what that meant to me because it allowed me to do what I had to do.